Hello everyone, welcome to another Almost Gone Rebuild, episode 22. And this episode's gonna be a lot different, I'll explain a little bit, but I am here at the Village at Orange, and I don't know if you guys heard the news, but the Village at Orange is officially gone. A lot of, a lot, I've been seeing on social media all over that um, the Village at Orange has been, they're taking out the mall already, but the Sears uh, area, it's still behind. Right now, it's a spirit Halloween, but I'll do my best that I can to look around this fall. Yes. Cause, I mean, I saw on social media and also on other people's YouTube videos that the village at Orange, they've been trying to... They're tearing it down now, unfortunately, which is pretty sad. I mean, and I know this is kind of like a huge update. And by now, you guys probably know the answer. It's pretty much gone at this point. Other than the Sears building and some buildings. But I'm going to do as much as I can and walk around the whole entire area so originally i was supposed to go to laguna hills in order to film the laguna hills area where there once was a mall but due to the fires here in california we had some fires recently and uh, i decided not to record just for my safety and also because um, i have allergy issues <laughs> um but here was the entrance and as you could see i don't know if you guys recall but um I remember at one point there were benches. I remember sitting here. I was crying and I think I was talking to my dad regarding a a guy and a former flame of mine. Uh, an ex-crush. Not really a boyfriend. That kind of hurt my feelings, but, you know, I've forgiven him. He's going through some mental issues, I heard. But yeah, this this used to be where sometimes I would enter here. Luckily, there's no people, but as you could tell, I don't know if you guys could see closely, there's some dirt around that area. So it's looking like they are, they are getting rid of the entire mall. But as of now, the 24-hour fitness, crumble cookies, and um, home goods are still here, by the way, for the moment. It's kind of sad, though, you know, I just, I'm going to miss this mall, even though we never really had much connections or I haven't really been around here that much you know when I heard that they were tearing it down I was like oh I have to come here because you know it's gonna be gone forever and they're putting apartments and stuff around here yeah. and you know what I didn't take a single of myself wow all this is gonna be gone soon I'm just trying to film as much as I can, you know, before they tear down the entire place. And, you know, I know a lot of people are probably like, well, it's just a mall. They're gonna probably put good stuff here. Yeah, but it's always better to have, like, you know, like, remembers, you know, memory, memories and stuff. Because, you know, our memories don't last that long. <laughs> Which is why I use YouTube. <laughs> I just wanted to try this dumpling place. Maybe I'll try it today. I'll think about it. Red Robin, I think, is still around here? I don't know. I'm gonna check. But I'm trying to film as much as I can, you know, because a lot of this might be gone. Also, they recently closed down the Party City, which I think I recorded a couple a couple of months ago. If um, I think I did. I can't remember. Dang. Yeah, look at that. Whoa, they actually tore down that area. Wait, does that mean that JC Penny's also gone? Uh, they would always put the Christmas tree right around the middle of this area here. Wow. <sighs> That's pretty sad. Apparently that is the sky. Ooh, wow. They're almost done Demon demolishing the entire mall. Sorry, construction workers. So, stores that used to be here, there used to be a Woolworth, a uh, Broadway store, JCPenney, uh, what's that called? Ulta, Ross, Sears, uh, a bookstore, some pet stores, and... Some restaurants. Oh, and Auntie Anne's. Wetzel's Pretzels, I think. Uh, what else? A Bloomy store. Um, 
Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of stores are gone. I could even see the wires from here. I don't know if you guys could see the wires hanging loose right here. I think the JC Penny's also gone. Oh, a Cars Jr. There used to be a Cars Jr. I heard right next to the JC Penny where it was. There also was a pizza press. I remember some water ASMR for you guys. <laughs> So this is the middle of the mall. They're planning to put apartments around here. That's all I know. Market too and the piano store. Look how gone it is. Oh look, someone's sprinkling water right I'm there. probably gonna put my mask on in case there's any dippers. I don't know if you guys could hear me, but I'm gonna put my mask on in case any dippers is around. Wow. This is insane. Oh my lord, look. It's all gone now. I bet people are probably like, what are you doing? Wow. Oh, here's a better look at the stores that used to be here. Except Home Goods, it's still there. Wow, look at this bulldozer. I think that's where the World Market entrance used to be. I don't know if you guys could see good. I'm trying my best. All of it's all gone. Yeah, I should have my mask on. I don't want any dust going on. Cause I have really bad allergies. All of it's gone, guys. I don't know if you could hear me. And I'm just telling you guys. I'm not telling the construction workers. Also, be nice to the construction workers too. Don't be rude. They're just doing their job. Here it is. Oh, Lord. So my brother was actually, he saw on social media too that they were turning down this mall. Oh. Yeah, I know it's a little loud. Sounds like a horror movie. <laughs> Like the Friday the 13th movies. Look at that. They just knocked half the wall right here. Almost like someone ate right here. Here's the entrance. <laughs> okay. There's an alarm going on. And right here it, it says entrance. Where the village at Orange used to be. Oh dang. Look how cute. They have like a little construction. Um, how do you call it? Mannequin right here. Oh god, it smells. Oh, yeah, I gotta put my mask on. But the JCPenney is still here though, so I'm not sure what they're gonna do with this building or if they're gonna tear it down or save it best for last. <laughs> um, yeah, if you're gonna come around here, just be very cautious and wear a mask. Because I think there's a lot of chemicals lying around this area. Yeah, as you could tell, there's a bell ring. Also, um, don't go through that gate right there. Please do not go through that gate. I don't want anyone to get in trouble or arrested or anything like that. I was, I would, but I, I mean, they're working, so I, I don't want to interrupt their job. Also, I'm sorry to the construction workers for recording you guys, by the way. Oh, dang, it really does smell. Wow. Maybe this JC Penny will be gone soon. This is the JC Penny. I don't know if you guys could see it good. I'm having a hard time focusing on my camera. Really miss this JC Penny actually. I love JC Penny. Here's a, a sign of the village at Orange where they used to tell you what stores were on here. And as you could see it's all blank. But the Walmart's still here. Oh. Here's the address, but it's probably gonna be gone. I don't know if they're gonna take out the building though Because they destroyed the middle of the mall, but not the Sears because I heard that supposedly Sears still owns that building until 2050 I heard 2040 
Oh. Yeah, definitely a bit scary. And I heard there's a there was a Cars Jr. around here. Yeah, definitely a little sketchy around here. Wow, the ceiling in this JC Penny area is, has been torn down a little. I did a video on the JC Penny a couple years ago, actually, like two, three years ago. I don't know if you guys want to check that out. Wow, look at the ceiling. Yeah, this was a this was the JC Penny right here. Yeah, all of it's all gone. I think they're gonna tear the building down soon. Oh, there's a gate over here. I think they just don't want you to go any further. Uh, how do I get all the way around? I know the Spur Halloween store recently, I think there's an open over there. Yep, right here. I heard there's moth nests, so if you're gonna walk around here, be very careful. That's why I was like trying not to stay there at the JC Penny area for so long. I was so scared the moth, the moths were gonna get me or something. Or mosquito nests. Yeah, I don't wanna, I don't like mosquito bites, they hurt. Yeah, but that's pretty much it. The end for the village at Orange. Pretty sad though. Um, I'm definitely gonna miss the mall. It was, it was a good mall. I just never thought I would ever live to see the day to see a, a mall torn down, actually. But here I am today, standing right, right here. The village at Orange is officially gone. Well, there's still some remains left, but it's pretty much dead at this point. Wow. So I'm about to depart, and look at this. What a creepy view, huh? A one small that used to be kind of a big thing back then, now gone. What's that noise? I don't know why they get it this area. Maybe they just don't want any like people coming here doing donuts. God, this looks so crazy. It's like looking at those pictures. You know when you Google dead malls and you see pictures like this? It's exactly what I'm seeing right here. This is creepy. Students. Wonder what this is for? A church or something? Wow. This is, I don't know, I mean, to be honest, words can't describe how I'm feeling right now. I'm just shocked that I finally get to see a mall getting destroyed after, you know, being here for a couple of times, walking around and just looking at it and pretty sad. Unfortunately, uh, this is, I think this is how it's going to be like once Westminster Mall also closes down. I think by the end of the year, it's going to close. So I'll probably be doing a video over there too. Wow, this is as long of a walk as I've ever taken. <laughs> oh man. So here's the Sears area in case you guys are wondering. They have not, they're not gonna tear it down. Although I heard that supposedly they're still gonna keep the building to, until 2050. I might be wrong. Yeah, I used to have a job here. It was a Christmas job, but I didn't like it to be honest. It just felt like they were more focused on selling photos rather than the Christmas spirit. Yeah, I had to come here immediately when I found out on social media they were going to tear it down. I'm like, I have to come here because I'm pretty sure they're going to tear it down immediately. So this is the entrance for all the seer stock. As you can tell, it's already gated. You guys always wonder what the end of the world would look like if everyone disappeared. This is pretty much what I'm feeling right now. I hope my, my talking isn't getting annoying to you guys. I know I've been talking a little bit. Yeah, we got some dumpsters here. But that's pretty much it, I think. Whoa. Okay, never mind. There's still more. So this is where the Sears usually bring out their merch from the trucks. But they have since closed it for a couple of years now. Yeah, my battery's about to die. Luckily, I brought my portable charger because I knew something like this was going to happen. 
Yeah, I would. I was gonna film more, but there, you know, Spirit Halloween's currently in that building, so I don't want to get in their way. There used to be like a little snack machine around this area. I remember because it was raining, and I was getting out of work, and I was getting picked up. Oh yeah. Speaking of which, I also had to record uh, the Sears and Buena Park once again because I heard they're gonna tear down the building too. Ah, oh, it's so dusty. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah, a lot of people have told me in the comments how um, they used to work from certain Sears and they would have to move here or then another one. And it must be a lot of work to travel, huh, for a job. Oh, here's the Sears Auto Center too, that little, this building right here. And here's the rest of the Sears. I'm not gonna look anywhere inside unless it's like the Spirit Halloween. Because uh, I'm pretty sure there are people working and we do not want to get in their way. Oh, they even closed the CVS right here. They're expanding. I don't know if you guys saw my little video. Um, but they closed the CVS right here and they're going to expand the Trader Joe's. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Well, that's pretty much it. Uh, well, actually, no, I had to film right here. Duh. <laughs> here are the Sears handles. I know it's probably just handles, but at the end of the day, Sears probably won't last this long anymore. Even the schedule that they have, it's usually like dark blue right here. It's all faded. Wow, even in the auto center, it's faded too. Do they still have the Shopper Way Rewards program or not anymore for Sears? As you can tell, there's a Spirit Halloween right now. Well, I'm not sure if it's open though. I'm going to check. I wonder if the toilets are filled with uh, gloves and diapers because when um, the COVID clinic where I used to work at back then, um, we were in the Sears Auto Center. It was really bad, honestly. And there were gloves and diapers. I don't know who, who left their diapers there. Obviously, someone did. This Auto Center, though, looks a lot better than the, than the Westminster one. The Westminster one looks really torn apart. It's like those little things. I think they were to fix the cars in there. Honestly, this was a really weird experience, but it was kind of interesting because I never really had the chance to ever like explore a dead mall before. I mean, I've explored a lot of dead, almost dead malls, but not dead dead malls. Yeah, this was kind of a good experience, something I'll probably tell my grandkids if I have any. <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I might be going to Sears and Whittier probably in December. I usually like going around December, mostly because it's like not as hot as it is currently <laughs> i think that's it for today um if you do come around the village at orange or the former village at orange now uh, just be very careful uh i would bring a mask just so you don't breathe in the chemicals and stuff and allergy reasons because there's a lot of chemicals uh when you get to the construction area and um just don't do not be disrespectful for to the construction workers you know, they're just minding their business and doing their job. I'm just saying, because I know sometimes people like to break the rules. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty sad. I mean, especially, you know, the CBS right here is gone. I know a lot of, I know some people are like, it's just a store. Yeah, but people lost their jobs. Where are they now? That's, a, that's something I'm concerned for them. Anyway, this is Delster, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Comment, like, subscribe, and until next time, take care of your mental health and everyone around you, and I'll do the same as well. Bye, guys. Wow, oh. look at this. The other side of the Sears. There's no one in here yet. Also, um, just for your information, the Spirit Halloween's not open yet, so that means I have to come back here. But I'll film it when it opens, so hopefully.